There are some red and blue pencils in two drawers in a classroom. In the first drawer, the ratio of red to blue pencils is 3 to 5. In the second drawer, the ratio of red to blue is 3 to 1. Mr Pettit moves 50% of the red pencils from the first to the second drawer. The number of pencils left in the first drawer is 156. The ratio of the number of red to blue pencils in the second drawer is now 13 to 3. And we're asked how many pencils were in the second drawer at the end. So quite a lot going on. We've got ratios, we've got um, two different situations, a change between them. So it's the sort of question that's really quite perfect for a bar model um, because it will hopefully make very clear what's going on in what is otherwise a very wordy question. So let's have a look here. I've grabbed my pencil and right we are going to have draw one. Okay let's just make that clearer and I've got red and blue. What have I got for red? The ratio of red to blue is three to five. Okay so three to five. Okay that seems simple enough. And then let's do the second draw. Okay the second draw red to blue. And what have we got in the second draw the ratio of red to blue is three to one. Okay. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's the two situations to begin with. So we've done this, we've done this. Mr. Pettit moves 50% of the red pencils from the first to the second drawer. Okay, so we know that. Um, okay, I'm what I'm going to do is cut this in half. OK, if I'm cutting this in half and this is one of my my units, I'm actually I'm going to start cutting everything else in half. OK. And half, let's shade that in, is going to be, there we go, that's three of those. All right, this is what Mr. Pettit moves from the first to the second drawer. Okay, but we don't know um, these these portions are not equal to, to these, so I don't know how this is going to fit in here yet. What else am I told? Okay, the number of pencils left in the first drawer is 156. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to let's say so this is what's left in the first drawer okay and the total of that is 156 um, okay so and I've got all these equal size portions all right so we've got um, 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 okay so 156 divided by 13 and that means that each of these portions, okay, has a value of 12. All right, there we go. So each of these, each of these is 12. Okay, right. So what does that tell us? Well, we then know that this bit here, okay, is 36. So we know we're 36 red pencils are or were moved to the second drawer. Okay, well, where are we now? We can't just add them on here because these portions are not necessarily the same size as these ones. So we, let's look at what else is going on in the information. So after these pencils are moved, the ratio of the number of red to blue pencils in the second drawer is now 13 to 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to change, I'm going to subdivide this. So this is now in thirds. These are, there's three equal portions here and I'll do the same for all of these. So there we've got three, okay, 
six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then another third here. That's going to be thirteen. So now this situation is in my model here. Okay, and I've now got 13 to 3. Now, what did I add? This is what I had to begin with. Okay, and these four here are what have are the ones that have been added. Okay, so this is the um, here that's the 36. Okay, so the 36 from here are now here. I'll shade them in yellow. There we go. Okay, so that means I can then work out the rest of this. So um, what's 36 divided by 4? Okay, so 36 divided by 4. What a terrible pen colour to have chosen there. Okay, so 36 divided by 4 equals 9. So each of these portions has a value of 9. And I could obviously write all the way along. This is 9, this is 9. They all have a value of 9. And what's our actual question? It says, how many pencils were in the second drawer at the end? Well, all of these, um, so everything was here at the end. These are the pencils that were added. So they weren't there at the beginning, but they're certainly there at the end. OK, so what have we got? Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. OK, so there's 16 of these equal size portions at the end. So 16 times 9, that gives us 144 pencils at the end. OK.